One of the key characters in this particular story was the town clerk of Biddeford, John Hill. His name occurred first for me when I found the booklets in the library in Biddeford and he says he was involved in taking the statements. And it was puzzling. The trouble is his name, John Hill, isn't a unique name. It's a common name. I've never been able to find out where he came from, what his background was, what his education was, what his career was. I did find letters in the archives of Exeter Cathedral written by him to people at the cathedral where he told them about his campaign against the nonconformists. So that's quite clear. This was a man who was keen on vengeance, who wanted to squash the nonconformists, make them conform to the Church of England and become good Anglicans. He failed, we've seen him as a church in, in it was still a strong non-conformist tradition here in Biddeford, which you would expect in a town with wealthy merchants and traders. So John Hill though, he also gives us some clues about his mind and what he'd been reading. When he got the statements, the witness statements, printed soon after the trial and the execution of the Biddeford witches, he gave his sources. He quoted King James of England in his book Demonology. So that's a good one. He quoted Judge Hales, and then of course he quoted Joseph Glanville's book, Sadducismus Triumphatus. He was justifying what was happening in Biddeford. Now that makes me suspicious too, because we know from the sessions of the peace records for Biddeford that more accusations were made soon after. But these cases were dropped. They didn't go through for trial in Exeter. It's as though blood had been let. Uh, people possibly were a little bit embarrassed by what had happened in Biddeford. Political expediency had led to the death of these three women, but really accusations of witchcraft were pretty much out of fashion by now. We know that the judges themselves, the upper class of educated people, they no longer believe in witchcraft, but it was still on the statute book. It was the law. It was the Daily Mail mentality. If this is the law, you have to do what the law says, even though the law is sometimes an ass. John Hill believed in what he was doing and justified his actions.